in this video we are going to see how to optimize the non-linear function in python last time we saw how to optimize the linear programming function this time we are going to see how to optimize the non-linear function so we'll import the matplot and the numpy library and the function that i am using is x square plus 10 into sine x and we'll just take a few data points from minus 10 to 10 50 data points and we'll see how this function looks like okay so when you plot it this is the kind of function you get now we want to find the minima of this function so we want to get to this particular point right so in the scipy let's import scipy dot optimize as opt and to find the minimum of the function first we'll use the bfgs method and it is it's this acronym stands for the people who have created this method what they take what is the starting point taken as is at which point you want to start so we start at x is equal to zero we start at this point and then we try to find the minimum of this function so your initial guess is uh, you are passing a list of values which is a zero and you want to say the maximum number of iterations all right and it says optimization is terminated successfully we can look at the value of x and the value of the function and we'll also plot this function and we will see where it has find the optimum value so it has found that x optimum is at minus 1.3 and the function value is minus 7.9 and uh, all right so there is some deprecation warning which i'll have to look into where it is coming from for now we'll ignore it so this is your starting point at f is equal to zero your function value is zero and at this point is where it found the minimum okay. and this is the correct minimum given on the type of function that we have but that is when we started at x equal to 0. Suppose we start at x equal to 6. Okay, somewhere here, x equal to 6. Then does it find the local minima or does it find the global minima? Okay, we will start at x equal to 6. And we will again find, again plot this. So if you see here, you get, you started at x x equal to 6 now it is stuck in the local minimum so your starting point really plays an important role in the bf in this particular method when you optimize using the bfgs method now there is another method which we can use that is based on the stochastic this method the optimization method basin hopping it is based on the stochastic kind of a method now here the important parameter it takes is the temperature parameter okay so my x0 is still 6 okay. i have not reinitialized this value my x0 is still 6 and at this value we want to find out if this particular method finds the global minimum so let's plot it and see it does find the global minima at this point now what needs to be further examined is if suppose you had x is equal to let's say this side minus 4 would it be able to find out the global minima there are many such optimization methods in the optimize library of scipy and you can look into each of these methods and based on the suitability of your problem, you can find out which method is best used. At least in this problem, Basin Hopping is giving us the, a very good result. Right. So let's say we take x is equal to minus 8.5. I think there are about 12 to 15 kind of methods which you will find in the optimized library and uh, each of them is slightly different from the other 
this particular method is based on the stochastic uh, way of finding out the minimum. Okay, I hope this helps you. Thank you for watching.